Hi folks, so Johnny Cope here, uh, just showing you uh, this next new model harp by Nia from Ukraine. I've called this one Shaman, uh, just because it's uh, very big and plays a bit like a Havagran or Comus, uh, and a nice big case and a, a neck, neck carrying strap. So this is a big solid harp, you can probably see the size of my hand here. Uh, polished steel, uh, you lift these straps up to, to tip the harp out. Uh, and it's a, it's a good solid harp, uh, it's been made really quite substantial and thick. Uh, these will have some designs on, this one is one of the few that's plain. Um, a lot of the designs that are etched into them look, look like that, um, or sometimes that, so the sort of freehand etching. So um, there's no way to standardise these, so they will just be random. Um, and I hope that's okay with, with everyone. They're beautifully made harps, design or no. Um, and uh, they're available in some different tunings, as I've said. They are very tight tolerances, really some of the tightest I've seen, which means they're not uh, fantastically easy for beginning players. You've really got to be careful how you pluck them. I found that anything this way doesn't really work because it, it, too much risk of it pulling upwards, which means it's more likely to hit the, the frame, hit the legs as it's oscillating. So you need it to be absolutely parallel. So it's a little bit unforgiving. So that said, I found striking from underneath really quite loud, uh, strong and confident tone. You can play that way if you're careful. Yeah, really very, very nice. And when they're played like that, they really do sound as good as um, you know most of the, the high-end commerce that I've tried. So, um, very well recommended. All the ones I've tried have been equally as good. Uh, so I've got a small stock of these. Uh, so go and check them out. Thanks for watching.